All of our journeys are different in life. For me, I started out as an animator. I learned in 2006 that some kid like myself could make videos that made people laugh. I wanted to become an animator working for some professional studio. I spent thousands of hours creating hundreds of animations from 2006 all the way up to 2013. Some are found on Newgrounds, others on YouTube, but most are scrapped works archived away in a zip folder. I love creating. It's a passion of mine, but my love for animation was dwindling. I lost the motivation to draw, to write, to animate. I gave up. I stopped creating. But my mind didn't. I still thought so much about creating, something people enjoyed. I explored recording videos, skits. I started a Let's Play channel with my friend. I learned how to create Android apps. It was... I even made a Monopoly parody board game. I streamed on Twitch many times, and I even made AR filters. I even shot some video game review on top of a goddamn mountain! But it didn't end there. I wanted to do more. So I started my journey into anime reactions, utilizing all the skills I learned to create interesting layouts, get my webcam to work. It prepared me for what is to come next. Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. In 2019, I moved to LA and realized I should pursue voice acting professionally. Since 2006, I only ever did it as a hobby because at the time, the only way to do professional voice acting was to be in LA, Texas, or New York. And now here I am pursuing VO, but I digress. Back to the sad music. I felt a little less motivated to do anime reactions after a while. It was a lot more stressful than I thought it would be, and I started becoming a harsher critic of my own self. I started releasing less reactions because I thought I wasn't enjoying the episodes enough until I eventually stopped doing them. Thus began the time skip. I jumped into League of Legends reactions after seeing Arcane, and my interest in League skyrocketed. Although I played League back in 2012, I really haven't seen any of the trailers. And so I started to get back into League, for better or for worse, and then one commenter recommended I react to Final Lesson. This was the moment. Final Lesson was absolutely incredible. I wanted to learn more, so I started reacting to more Honkai Impact 3rd trailers. This was the first time I ever thought a mobile game could just be have some of the best story cutscenes in the history of the world. I, I loved it so much, I started playing Honkai Impact. I started reading the official manga, made discussion videos about it. I went back and played Gun Girl Z. I started watching and trying to play Star Rail and ZZZ. I fell in love with Oyoverse, but there was one monolithic game that I haven't reacted to. Genshin Impact. Whether you watch me for my animation content, or my League content, or my Honkai or Genshin content, thank you for your support. All of our journeys are different in life. Some would credit League of Legends or Genshin as the reason why I hit 10k and that it only took 8 months to get where I am now. But for me, it took me 16 years. Because I wouldn't be in this spot right now if it wasn't for the experience and effort I put into creating for all these years. And for the support people have been giving me for these 16 years. I'm taking my sweet time, but, you know, I'm happy you're all here supporting me. So thank you all so much for taking time to watch this video. I know it feels a bit melodramatic just because, you know, you hear all this emotional music tied with my voice being a bit more calmer than what you usually see. But I basically heard the OST for the soundtrack um, for the storyline, and I was like, this is a perfect time to talk about the different aspects of my journey as a creator. And considering I was in the process of hitting 10k I was like what a perfect combination to use for this video um so I really appreciate you all um just watching the video supporting the channel uh, I don't normally find an avenue to mostly talk about myself and uh you know behind the scenes I guess of my journey but I hope you all enjoyed it uh, you know, I don't plan to open up a second channel where I vlog more and I talk more about my process. However, 
if you do consider joining the channel and becoming a member, uh, not only do you get um, access to emotes and you support me directly, but also uh, I will be having members only videos that are mostly surrounding things that don't necessarily fit on the channel, including things about myself. Or, you know, I there's currently a video up right now called the real story behind my Genshin account that basically where I talk about my first month playing Genshin and how it happened in 2020, which is an interesting thing considering when I released my reaction. So definitely take a look at that. That's going to be a lot of fun to me kind of just talking about, you know, how I got into Genshin, why I returned to Genshin, why I'm reacting to all these Genshin videos. Um, so definitely it's a huge video that I don't actually, I don't, I haven't even recorded it yet. So I don't even know if it's huge, but it's definitely up now by the time you see this 10k video. So go check that out, hit that join button. Otherwise, hey, thank you all so much for your support. Even just a subscription actually does support the channel. Um, so I do appreciate it. You know, that's why I'm making this video is because for 16 years, people have been supporting me through Newgrounds, through YouTube, through friends and family. It's, it's been a long journey. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm getting here. You know, it's a slow process. It's a slow process, but you know what? We're hitting the road to 100K, so let's freaking go! All right, I'll see you all later. Thank you. Bye!